Yep. Stuck. Ooh, ooh. It's been a while. I have a new project that I want to talk about. It's taking this wild with Revolve to get that uh, rolling. And in the meantime, I started work on a new board, which under the hood is quite a bit different from what I've done before. August for me was spent in paradise. <laughs> Um, okay, so it wasn't so much this and this and this, it was more like this and this and this. The point is that after 30 days alone with my laptop uh, doing schematic and layout, the Gerber was done and it was shipped off to manufacturing towards the end of the trip. And today the PCB arrived. So the big news is that it's now a different SOC altogether, uh, which brings both some opportunities and some challenges. So it's now a 64-bit all-winner A64 quad-core. It has one gigabyte of RAM, it has a gigabit ethernet, and it has eight gigs of onboard storage. So those are the specs. It also has the new TMC 2209s, which can handle more current in a smaller package. So that's pretty exciting. The form factor will be the same as Revolve, but it should be able to run a bit cooler due to some new and mosses that I found for the input stage. So the design was the easy part. The hard part is the software and especially the real-time aspect of it. So what's great about the AM3358 that's in the Revolve is that it has the PRUs which give real-time capabilities to a vanilla Linux kernel. The A64 doesn't have a PR, it doesn't have PR use, but it does have the AR100, which is an open source CPU. So I'm hoping that can be used to do the real time aspect of the, like controlling the stepper drivers. But that's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a, a lot of work, basically. Hope you enjoyed this quick little intro to, yes, the name. So, the big new feature is that it has a new core, so we decided to call it ReCore, of course. Bye!